Hi friends, LMD Vegan today with a blueberry lemon cream tartlet. Tartlets are nice because uh, they are so easy to make. I have these wonderful little ring forms, ring molds. Uh, and uh, in case I have a little bit too much of uh, filling or dough or whatever, I just take a third one. Yeah, no problem. But for these two, I reckon to fill my uh, food processor yeah, with the S-plate with um, a dowel yeah, for a butter, for a crust, with um, 150 grams or a cup of, dip, of almonds. And as it is a small quantity, um, it is easy, very quick. However, I will first process the almonds to a fine meal and then put the dates in. That is, saves a little time than in comparison to processing it all together in the beginning. I have a fine meal now, and when you first process it without the dates, you decide how fine your dough would be. Because when you put the dates in, I have here for a small quantity of, 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 of almonds, maybe uh, six or seven dates. They are uh, soft, pretty soft, not too soft. Yeah? They are pitted. Yeah? And the softer they are, the less time it takes to make a sticky dough. And at the same time, it's getting a very soft dough. Can be very soft like a marzipan, but um, so I prefer the medium dates to the very soft ones. Even it takes a little bit longer to process, but I want to have a too soft dough that is a little bit like chewy or uh, yeah too soft, you know, like a little bit you know. I don't I won't have that. I'm a little bit dry is better. And I have a tablespoon of cinnamon here. Yeah, so a pretty large quantity of cinnamon to make this uh, dough. A little bit tasty, more tasty. I mean, there is a taste, there's a flavor from almonds and from dates, no doubt, there's wonderful flavor. But together with the uh, blueberries, I would like to have some cinnamon that goes very nice with blueberries. So I do it again now to a sticky dough. That's my sticky dough. And um, I will put it. I show you first before I put it into the, into the molds. I show you what it looks like here, and you have the test. If you do like this, you press it together. You see, it's, it forms a little bit of lump, and it keeps together. Yeah, it has to be like that. The, the fat from the nuts begins to come out. It shouldn't be too much, otherwise you have this gluey, gooey effect. So, uh, but this is nice here, and you can also see it. If you look into the food processor, and you watch into the food processor while it's processing, there's a little wave inside forming with the time. And when the, the wave gets larger, you see it clearly, then you know it's ready. Okay, you have to make your own experience, but that's the way I do it. And it's always, I know, or I see always when it's ready. You can really see. So here is a, oh, I'll take a spoon. Yeah, I take a spoon. I need the spoon later because I would like to use um, the spoon later for, uh, for making the, the cream, so I leave this spoon take a new one. So I have a spoon, and I fill now the sticky dough, I will build the sticky dough and I press it together into the spring forms, now the, the molds, ring molds. Careful, not losing anything. I begin with, yeah, I'll put it in. Let's see. I don't know, I have, to, I have a little bit too much here, but the rest of the of the of the mass of the dough here, the rest you can put in a. In, I will put it into a, a sealed container. If I don't put it in a third ring mold now, I will see. I can also use it directly, or I can put it into the refrigerator, and um, keep it for the next uh, tartlet. These tartlets are can be made in 50 minutes or so. Put it in the fridge and. And you have a, a nice tartlet. 
it's so easy. Depends on what you put in the filling. Sometimes the filling needs some time to get firm. Sometimes you can eat it immediately. And it's so wonderful, these kind of, kind of little cutlets. So now I press down the dough first. Press it evenly down before I bring it, before I press it with a uh, firmer. Yeah. It has to be very firm because when you cut piece, take a piece out of the tartlet, it should keep together. That's, that wouldn't be nice if it all falls into a thousand pieces, uh, the bottom, see the crusts. But that is easy. I'll show you in a moment what happens here. I make two at a time. That is very easy. I'll take, it doesn't take too much time. So that you don't, of course, it's not important now that I show you how I make two of them. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. You see, it's so quick. It's so quickly done. And only the one thing I like for these uh, tartlets for, um, they are also easier to make. You see, I'm already done with the two of the tartlets. You see, when I put it here, you can see from the, from the bottom, you see how, how firm they look. You can see, that's how big, how big is this. The other one is a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner. See, same here. A little bit thinner, but is it pretty much the same. So that's what I have now. To fill, yeah. put aside for a moment again, and now the last step, I make the cream. And the cream is, um, I have a cream first, and together with the cream I put the blueberries in. Here I have a lot of blueberries, and I check the forms with the, with the molds. This here is my two cups of blueberries, and it's uh, what goes into two molds. I mean a little bit less, but pretty much full to the brim. And that is um, important because I don't want to have a, a, a creamy cake in the first place. I want in the first place a fruity cake. So more blueberries, less cream. That's my thing here, my, my decision. I want to have that. More blueberries. Yeah. So for the cream I make here, I have for this two molds, and I, again I repeat, it maybe I have a little excess, but here, two bananas, or one and a half bananas, right? One and a half. And I minimize the bananas here because I want the, the, the cream firm up in the refrigerator. Yeah. And so I need more nuts. So I have here cashew nuts. These are 100 grams or a little bit more maybe. Similar amount with the bananas. And I will put a lemon, half a lemon in there. This is so wonderful together with the blueberries and even the peel. Yeah, it goes in here very nicely. The flavor uh, with the lemon and the lemon peel, you know, the zest or a little bit of the peel, the whole peel doesn't, doesn't really matter. If you only want to have the zest, you can zest it, but I take just a small piece and put it all in. And to refine it, a little bit of vanilla powder here. That's also awesome together with blueberries. Vanilla and cinnamon, they are perfect for blueberries and all oh, lemon too. That's very nice. So this is what I will um, blend now and then I have my cream almond almost done. <laughs> important otherwise um, it's not so easy to get the, the, the cream firm. Taste it. Mm -hmm. Oh nice. A nice sour flavor. Mm, it's a lemon cream. Very good. Mm -hmm. A little bit tart. And that's from the, from the peel. I like it. Oh nice, very nice. So I put that cream into a container here, a bowl, because I have to work on it a little bit more before I put the blueberries in. I will have to put some coconut oil, that is today, into the cream and for more, for more than one reason. Now, coconut oil um, is um, nice uh, because it has a wonderful flavor yeah? and it um, makes the, the cream 
very creamy. Yeah? It's a very nice and smooth cream together with the coconut oil. That's why I love it for two reasons. Yeah? To firm it up, because when the, we put the cream then afterwards in the refrigerator together with the oil, coconut oil, then it will firm up. Yeah? Uh, at the day temperature, coconut oil is uh, usually firm. But at very uh, low temperatures, although very a little bit warmer, it almost already um, liquefies, and so we can use it very nicely in a in a cream to uh, to, to to thicken as thickener. But usually, I don't use that much coconut cream, uh, coconut oil, uh, because it is only the oil from the coconut. There is the fiber is extracted, so using the fat only is not uh, best to digest. Uh, for the blood and for the arteria and everything. Coconut oil is not necessarily the healthiest oil. It has a lot of benefits, but there are also side effects, and I want to minimize that. But once in a while, I cannot, I don't want to uh, refrain myself from that coconut oil. It's, it's really nice texture, very creamy, and may have lots of fiber here. The nuts here, the blueberries, the almonds, all is full of fiber, so for a little bit. And I have um, only a little bit of cream and a large amount of blueberries. So it's only the glue between the blueberries, not much, not more. So I can, I can, I can have 50 grams here, 50 grams of coconut oil. Especially important to know the quantities here because you want to know that the cream is firm enough, not too firm, not too little. And 50 grams with this uh, amount, show you, it should be okay. Aha, I didn't show you the water bath. That's the water bath. It's a cup of hot water. And I put the, the container with the coconut oil on top here. And then in no time it's liquefied. See, that's just to show you. And here, that's what it looks like. Coconut oil on top of the cream here. See, it's the coconut oil. And I have to just stir it nicely to combine everything evenly. So it's not good to put the blueberries in before. Otherwise, you cannot stir it anymore. You always uh, one step after the other. I have to plan a little bit. I have to plan every step I do here in the recipes, not only for the video, also for myself. It's very important um, to have an exact idea what to do first in the kitchen and what last. Because then you have no problem, it's easy. You have enough space, you know, no problem like here. I put the blueberry in first. <laughs> so, it's not so easy, then you could put it uh, the coconut oil later, but it's not so much fun. Then you have to be very careful not to mash the blueberries when you stir and so on and so on. So, I'm done now. Just give some practical tips while I do it. That's always useful because I made some mistakes and I share um, to know better for you and maybe to save some time. So this is the cream. Now the blueberries go into the cream. Spreading it evenly, tossing the blueberries with the cream. And now I put the cream into the cream molds with the crusts. That's very easy. Yeah, I have a little bit too much, I guess, too much of the of the filling. But I can just make a third a third ring mold. It's in five minutes, it's done. I have some um, I have some more of the dough, of the sticky dough, and I have some more of the filling. So it's done in a, in a very short time yeah, to make a third one. Oh, let me see. It's not even that much. I don't have that much too much. <laughs> yeah, and I filled them really full now. They really just filled to the brim. But it looks nice, I guess, with that foam. Looks so rich, looks so... <laughs> Here, that not much left, you see, that's a little bit is left. It's not much, it's not even a, it's not even a, a full, a full uh, ring mold. It's maybe a smaller ring mold and a half only, half full only. I will do that, but you don't need to see that here. This is what you need to see, I guess. The two tartlets, I'll put them in the fridge. 
maybe in a container, yeah, just put it in the container, under the con in the container, in the small container, I put um, parchment paper, a yeah, long strip of parchment paper, and put the ring mold on top, and then I can easily lift them out, in case, uh, maybe it's not even necessary here, because the bottom will keep, sometimes uh, I have something in the ring mold, so the bottom won't keep, take out the ring mold, and the whole thing runs away. <laughs> So um, the parchment paper is very nice for these for, for these for these containers. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. And maybe you like this wonderful blueberry li uh, lemon cream uh, tartlets. I tried one before. I made it before, and it is really delicious. It's so fresh. It comes out of the refrigerator. It's a wonderful texture. The only thing is, uh, you have to have the right texture that um, the cream doesn't run away. So not too much bananas. Yeah, more nuts than bananas. And yeah, sufficient amount of coconut oil and many, many blueberries. So you don't need so much um, of the cream and have more of the blueberries. That's the idea here. And then I hope you enjoy uh, and maybe you will subscribe, subscribe to Emily Vegan on YouTube, have another recipe every single day, and find me on Facebook too, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. I hope to see you soon.